There are currently 25 British families detained in northeast Syria. They are among tens of thousands held there not because they have been found guilty of committing a crime, but because of unproven allegations of association with the Islamic State. Instead, they have been tried by the media in the court of public opinion. Whatever you think you know, you don't know the whole story. The vast majority of Britons are children, most who are under the age of 10. These children live in squalid conditions and are exposed to disease and violence. They have limited access to food, clean water, shelter and education. The older boys are in constant danger of being put in adult prisons where they will disappear. Other countries, including the US, are repatriating their citizens from the camps, but the UK government refuses to do so. These British families must be brought home and given the opportunity to rebuild their lives. Where there is a case to answer for adults, British courts are more than capable of delivering justice. Unless they're brought back to the UK, these families risk transfer to other facilities to face torture, disappearance and the death penalty. The majority of the UK public believe our government has a responsibility towards its nationals. It's time for the UK government to bring these families home.